The news spread like wildfire, leaving a trail of stunned silence in its wake. Dyson, the British technology giant, had announced layoffs at its Singapore office. The atmosphere was thick with shock, confusion, and a palpable sense of betrayal. Employees who had dedicated years to the company were left reeling, their futures suddenly uncertain. For many, the layoffs felt like a rug pulled out from under their feet. The company had always projected an image of stability and growth. Just last year, Dyson had celebrated the opening of its new headquarters in Singapore, a testament to its commitment to the city-state. Now, that narrative seemed to be crumbling. The layoffs at Dyson Singapore serve as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of today's global economy. Even companies perceived as industry leaders are not immune to the forces of change. As the dust settles, employees, industry experts, and policymakers are left grappling with the implications of this unexpected turn of events. Initially, there were whispers, hushed conversations in corridors, and anxious glances exchanged across desks. Rumors of restructuring and downsizing had been circulating for weeks, but nothing concrete. Then came the official announcement, delivered with a swiftness that left many feeling blindsided. The layoffs were swift and targeted, primarily impacting the engineering and product development departments. Employees were called into brief meetings, where they were informed of their termination and given severance packages. The process was impersonal, leaving little room for questions or emotional processing. The lack of transparency and the sudden nature of the layoffs fueled a sense of resentment and distrust among the remaining employees. The once vibrant workplace was now shrouded in an atmosphere of uncertainty and fear. In the immediate aftermath of the layoffs, a wave of emotions washed over the Dyson Singapore workforce. Anxiety was rampant, as those who remained wondered if they would be next. The layoffs had shattered the illusion of job security, leaving many feeling vulnerable and uncertain about their future. Anger too was palpable. Employees felt betrayed by the company they had invested so much in. Many had relocated their families to Singapore, enticed by the promise of a stable and rewarding career with Dyson. Now, they were left to pick up the pieces, facing an uncertain job market and the daunting prospect of starting over. The psychological toll of the layoffs was undeniable. The sudden loss of income coupled with the emotional distress took a heavy toll on the affected employees and their families. The layoffs at Dyson Singapore sent shockwaves through the country's labor movement. The Electronics and Technology Union, representing a significant portion of Dyson's workforce, was quick to respond, condemning the layoffs and demanding fair treatment for the affected employees. The union called for greater transparency from Dyson, urging the company to engage in meaningful dialogue with its employees and the union representatives. They demanded a comprehensive severance package for laid-off workers, including career counseling and job placement assistance. The union's response highlighted the importance of strong labor representation, especially in times of economic uncertainty. Their advocacy provided a voice to the affected workers, ensuring that their concerns were heard and their rights protected. Section 5. Dyson in Singapore, a legacy of innovation and investment. Dyson's presence in Singapore dates back to 2004, when the company established its first manufacturing facility in the city-state. Over the years, Dyson's operations in Singapore have expanded significantly, evolving from a manufacturing hub to a global center for research, development, and engineering. Singapore has played a pivotal role in Dyson's global growth story. The company has repeatedly praised Singapore's pro-business environment, skilled workforce, and robust infrastructure. In 2022, Dyson opened its new global headquarters in Singapore, a state-of-the-art facility designed to foster innovation and collaboration. Dyson's investments in Singapore have not only created jobs, but also contributed to the country's reputation as a global hub for technology and innovation. The company's decision to lay off workers in Singapore, therefore, came as a surprise to many, raising questions about its long-term commitment to the city-state. Section 6. Shifting Sands, Global Economic Headwinds, and Dyson's Strategic Pivot. The layoffs at Dyson Singapore cannot be viewed in isolation. The global economic landscape has been undergoing a period of significant turbulence. Rising inflation, supply chain disruptions, and geopolitical uncertainties have created a challenging business environment, forcing companies across industries to reassess their strategies. 
Dyson, despite its reputation for innovation and premium products, is not immune to these global headwinds. The company has faced increasing competition in recent years, particularly in the home appliance market. Moreover, the global economic slowdown has impacted consumer spending, leading to a decline in demand for discretionary goods, including high-end appliances. In response to these challenges, Dyson has announced a strategic pivot, shifting its focus towards emerging technologies and new growth markets. The company has made significant investments in areas such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and electric vehicles. Section 7, The Human Cost of Change, Uncertainty, and the Search for New Beginnings While Dyson's strategic pivot may be necessary for its long-term success, it comes at a human cost. The layoffs in Singapore are a stark reminder that behind every corporate decision, there are real people whose lives are impacted. For the affected employees, the layoffs represent a period of profound uncertainty and transition. Many are grappling with the emotional and financial implications of losing their jobs. Some are actively seeking new employment opportunities, while others are exploring options for retraining or entrepreneurship. The layoffs have forced many to confront the realities of today's rapidly changing job market. Skills that were once in high demand are now becoming obsolete, replaced by automation and emerging technologies. Section 8. Building a Resilient Workforce. Lessons Learned and a Path Forward. The layoffs at Dyson Singapore underscore the importance of building a resilient workforce, equipped to adapt to the ever-evolving demands of the global economy. Governments, educational institutions, and businesses all have a role to play in fostering this adaptability. Governments can invest in programs that provide workers with the skills they need to thrive in the digital economy. This includes supporting vocational training programs, apprenticeships, and lifelong learning initiatives. Educational institutions need to ensure that their curricula are aligned with the needs of the modern workplace. This means incorporating skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, digital literacy, and adaptability into their programs. Businesses can foster a culture of continuous learning within their organizations, providing employees with opportunities to upskill and reskill. Investing in employee development is not only beneficial for the individual, but also for the long-term success of the company. Section 9, The Future of Work Adaptability and Upskilling in an Evolving Economy The layoffs at Dyson Singapore are a microcosm of a larger trend shaping the future of work. The rapid pace of technological advancement coupled with globalization and automation is transforming industries and displacing jobs at an unprecedented rate. In this evolving landscape, adaptability and upskilling are no longer optional but essential for career survival and growth. Workers need to be agile, adaptable, and willing to embrace lifelong learning to stay ahead of the curve. The traditional model of education followed by a lifelong career is becoming increasingly outdated. Workers today need to be prepared to change careers, learn new skills, and adapt to new technologies throughout their working lives. Section 10, Dyson's Next Chapter, Balancing Innovation, Investment, and Employee Well-Being. The layoffs at Dyson Singapore have undoubtedly tarnished the company's image, raising questions about its commitment to its workforce and its long-term plans in the city-state. Moving forward, Dyson faces the challenge of rebuilding trust with its employees while navigating the complexities of the global economy. The company needs to strike a delicate balance between pursuing innovation and investment opportunities while also prioritizing the well-being of its workforce. Dyson's success has always been rooted in its ability to attract and retain top talent. To maintain its competitive edge, the company needs to create a work environment that fosters innovation, collaboration, and a sense of shared purpose. This includes providing employees with competitive compensation and benefits, opportunities for professional development, and a supportive and inclusive work culture. Section 11, Conclusion navigating uncertainty, and building a sustainable future. The surprise layoffs at Dyson Singapore serve as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of today's global economy and the human cost of corporate decisions. As Dyson embarks on its next chapter, the company must prioritize transparency, communication, and employee well-being. The layoffs also highlight the importance of building a resilient workforce, equipped to adapt to the ever-changing demands of the global economy. Governments, educational institutions, and businesses all have a role to play in fostering this adaptability, 
through investment in education, training, and upskilling initiatives. In an era marked by uncertainty and rapid technological advancement, the ability to 